Hello everyone, this is Caesar on Toast and you're watching episode 7 of my All the Mods 2 playthrough. Uh, today we're going to be doing some building and general quality of life improvements around the base. Um, I did record episode 7 already, but it turns out my microphone wasn't plugged in, so that's a bit sad. <laughs> but I did get a lot done and uh, you'll uh, notice straight away some improvements if you've been following the series. Uh, so I'll just run around the base and show you a couple of things that I've been doing. Um, so first off, you'll notice in my hand here, we've got the drill, which is a um, tool from Actually Additions, and inside it we've got a speed upgrade and a mining upgrade that lets me mine 3x3 three three, um, blocks. I, <laughs> I don't know what, I, what word I was looking for there, um, but it lets you mine 9 blocks at a time, so that's improved my mining a great deal. Um, you'll see a big difference here. We've moved the um, automatic mystical crops farm up closer and we've also got this canola automatic energy creator um, set up here. So this is something I did a lot of research into is actually additions. So I'll just uh, walk you through this step by step. So if you want to get the low tier um, infinite power what you can do is build your farmer, we did that before, and that takes quite a bit of iron, so just stock up on that before you do that. And um, then have a way of transferring the canola, which is this yellow crop here. I use the extra utilities to transfer nodes and transfer pipes, and you put that into a canola press, which uses crystal flux, the energy from actually additions, to turn canola into canola oil. So you can put that straight into an oil generator that will get you 40 crystal flux per tick um, or you can use a fermenting barrel which will turn it into this oil stuff and uh, that will get you 80 crystal flux per tick and uh, we've got two uh, oil generators and that seems to be optimal for this kind of system. You've got to watch out because uh, if it fills up on seeds, the seeds will jam up this transfer node which isn't ideal, so there are probably better ways of managing that. Um, but I'm always in the base, so I've been taking it out as we go. And I don't believe there's any other uses for these. We can squeeze them to get seed oil for forestry. I guess we can do that later. Um, we can also use the atomic reconstructor to get crystallized canola seeds, which you then can uh, produce more crystal flux per tick out of. So that is the next tier of that. Um, but that's creating all our energy, and um, this is the, um, oh, it's finished now. We've got the Inferium seeds, and we've got all 81 of them made, so we are now producing a load of Inferium essence. Uh, that must have just happened there. And uh, this is the start of the mid-tier actually edition stuff. Sorry, this is a bit of a show and tell today rather than actually doing anything, because I did film this episode already. <laughs> Uh, so we got the Emparer, and what you can do is you can put various items on and create their Empowered variants. So we've got these display stands, and you put, it's like um, Infusion from Thomcraft if you've ever done that. So you put the items on the pedestals. This takes energy rather than any kind of uh, magical things. So um, you just put your item and all the infusing items on these, and you'll create your Empowered item. So that is how you get into the mid-tier, and I've just noticed we're missing a worm there on the farm. I uh, don't know how long that's been going on for. Um, so let's just take a quick trip along this nice little path I've just built. So uh, this wasn't in the original version of episode 7, but I've made this nice bridge which will let us get safely across to our new animal island where we're going to be doing some um, animal things. Uh, probably just a temporary setup for this. I always like to keep my animals at arm's length because of how much noise they make. Uh, so we've got our chicken here, we've got a pig and some sheep. And the way we've been moving these guys, rather than um, using the crops to lure them in, we can left click on mobs like this using this capturing wand. Uh, I find this in a dungeon somewhere, but you can craft it. Uh, it's from the not enough, mo uh, not enough wands mod. And then you can right click. So left click and right click. And that lets you pick up any mobs, even... Um, even hostile mobs, but I haven't tried that, and I kind of don't want to. <laughs> uh, I've died a lot fighting in the um, roguelike dungeons. I've been going down to the lower tiers, and so I got a load of kind of low tier armor and swords and stuff, and iron tools 
that I get from those and those have been working out but I've decided to upgrade at least to a drill. This works as a shovel and a um, pickaxe so that's actually really good that's better than I expected. Um, so as well as that we've done some work inside the base uh, kind of going to avoid the magic for now because we can get a lot done with the tech and it's straightforward enough. So this is kind of a semi-automatic um, atomic reconstructor setup. So you put your items in here, flick the lever, and then all the stuff that you want get sucked into here. This is our whitelist, uh, so it won't suck stuff up until it's been converted and then you just collect your things from there. And uh, here we have the crusher. So we've taken apart our tech reborn setup because that was wasting a load of energy. And now we've got this automatic energy setup out here. And so there are cables running into the back of these from the canola farm. And the advantage of the crusher over the, I think it's the grinder from tech reborn, is that you get sometimes two outputs from your ores. Um, so for example, from iron, you get a 20% chance of getting gold dust. Uh, so that's just really, really good to get. Um, just a little bit extra gold. And I don't think there are any others, but just that little extra advantage. And I think it uses maybe a little bit less power, but because we've got infinite power, it doesn't really matter. And then the powered furnace, this thing is so good. All you gotta do when you set it up, it's automatically on auto split items off. But if you hit this, it will let you smelt two items at once. Um, this is, We're kind of cramped on space out here because the ground level is right there so we can't even put chests on top of them. Uh, so again this whole place is kind of temporary until we get a lot of stuff going. Um, but this twice as fast as any other smelter. So we have all these so we can make uh, concrete for the roads. And uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and make some more automatic farms now that we've got the now that we've got the canola energy set up, and there's an invisible zombie here, that's nice. And he sets me on fire, of course. Uh, <laughs> but he did give us a projectile protection to iron chest piece, which is nice. Um, the other thing that I've been working on, I did some mining in the nether with our new drill, which was great. So we are stacked on ingots and stuff at the moment. As you can see, we've got some blocks, 54 blocks of iron, a lot of tin, gold, all the major metals, even diamonds we've got lots of, and I've been converting some of them into the actually additions variants. And so we do have this empowered diamantine crystal, and that was just when I was making, uh, doing it as a demonstration out there with the empowerer setup, and we will get a more permanent uh, kind of setup for that done. Uh, maybe try automating it, but that's uh, not absolutely necessary since we only need them for a few things. Uh, what else did I do? So I, I changed I changed this whole storage setup actually. So you can get upgrades to the storage crates. Um, you can you couldn't do it on the birch chest, so I had to fiddle around with it a bit. Um, but if I can spell, we get these chest to storage crate upgrades. You need a storage crate and four planks. So kind of kind of cheap but um worth it for the amount of extra space you get so in a one block space you get basically a triple chest worth and these are upgradable as well um so that is fantastic and so that's made it a lot more spacey up here um we've also been doing some gathering of books so i'm starting to enchant some diamond armor and a better bow for next time we go fight the dragon but i'm gonna leave that for a little bit at least um, but I'm just going to crack on with what I was doing, which was um, kind of making more uh, quality of life improvements, we'll call them, around the base. So more of these automatic farms. I'm going to need a wheat one and a carrot one at least for the animals. And then we'll see if we can't get... Oh, there's two endermen up there. Uh, sorry. Uh, I'll see if we can't get a way of automatically feeding, breeding, and slaughtering animals. Uh, as cruel as that sounds, but uh, we do want to get... Um, a, a way of getting feathers at least this episode so we can get our arrows because we will have revenge on the dragon we will have revenge he killed me twice already <laughs> right i'll crack on with that i'll see you in a bit i've started a massive skeleton war there were four of them but one of them's just died haha -ha, to remain ah don't go for me go for him go on go on can you can you do it oh come on go on that definitely hit him come on Oh, I can't give them the juke for this long. Okay, I'm just gonna go in. They can't be that strong. Yeah, here we go. Take that, and that, 
and that thing. Yes. <laughs> so I've been doing a lot of work around the base. Uh, we've expanded. I think I had two last time I recorded. Now there are five of these actually additions farms. So we're kind of in the process of snowballing with the uh, low tier tech, which is really, really nice uh, because we've been kind of footering around with stuff for a while. And um, so we're getting a lot of the Inferium, so we'll be able to do some stuff with that soon. Uh, we've got the sugarcane farm, another canola seed generator farm. Uh, so I don't think this has quite got to the stage where we've got uh, the thing filled with oil yet, but um, all the crops have been planted, so that should be up and running soon. And we've got the wheat and carrots that we're going to be feeding to our, um, to our uh, livestock over there. And uh, just slowly increasing our uh, supplies of everything. I think the next thing that I want to do is have some kind of collection point for all the things that we're producing with our machines. And uh, I know in the drawers mod they have the uh, drawer controller, uh, which is this. There's a controller slave. I don't know what that is. Uh, drawer controller which interacts with a bank of connected drawers. So essentially, if you put drawers next to each other, they'll be connected into one um, storage system. And if you put a drawer controller on it, you can just right click on it with all the items or pipe the items in and they'll put them in the um, correct place inside the, um, inside the bank of drawers. Uh, so I might work on that. Um, we don't have that much wood, so I'm also interested in trying to make a tree farm, um, but there might not be one in this mod pack, I'm really not sure. Um, so gonna have to do a little bit of research on that, and I'll join you when I've got a little bit more progress. This is the next day now, and I'm ready to do some more empowering with these uh, Inori crystals, so I just thought I'd demonstrate one of these to you, just so you know what it looks like. I did this before in the other episode, but um, I, I think that it's, it's actually worthwhile showing it, because it can be confusing first time you do it. So these have been powered up already, you can see they've got the 80,000 redstone flux in them, and uh, that means that they will automatically go here. So that used five, so we will have enough for all four. Um, I don't really want to put that on top. And also, if you hold shift and right click while you got the drill, you get access to the upgrade inf inventory. So we've got speed one and speed two, and you need to have all of them. So you can't just put in speed three. You have to put in one, two, and three to put in the, the third one. So uh, just a heads up about that. Uh, let's get an empty hand here so we can pick this up. Uh, so I just right clicked on it there. Uh, so we want to go and do this three more times. So let's just go ahead and make sure we don't make any mistakes because uh, we don't need sugar. Uh, we need, so we've got the cobble, the gray dye, the snowball and the button. Very strange recipe, uh, but there you go. This is modded Minecraft where uh, nothing makes sense, but it's fine. We, we still love it, it's it's fun. So, Inori Crystal, let's get this flawless. Skip on the sugar, sugar is for making the final upgrade, and we're missing cobble. And one more after this, uh, still need an empty hand and will be good and then we can make the upgrade so let's just stick these on I wonder if you can do it in this order probably there's no reason why you wouldn't be able to yep there you go and then all we got to do is grab this uh, we will make a proper setup for this eventually and uh, go here hold shift and left click that'll put all the items there and then all we have to do is go in here hold shift and right click and then we've got a speed 3 drill so I'm actually pretty curious about how fast this actually is. Uh, so I'm gonna grab uh, maybe a little bit of food. So let's grab that and something else we haven't had recently, apple juice, that's perfect. And um, so let's head down and I have um, I left this on overnight and everything filled up, but was there, uh, it's a spider, I thought it was a creeper. Um, I left it on overnight and a lot of the worms died and I think it's because mobs were stomping on them. So I've now put walls around it, so hopefully that will reduce that happening. I also um, have a villager who's down in the basement now who I've been getting emeralds from by selling uh, carrots and wheat. And I've got a good few emeralds now. But uh, when I came back on today after leaving it AFK overnight, there were so many husks there because they don't um, burn up in the sun like regular zombies. So that was pretty funny to see for the first time. 
Right, um, so this is my new and improved mine. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab one of these. Oh, I actually should grab two. Um, just to start this off. So let's just run through and see how fast this is. Uh, so noticeably a lot quicker and I don't think it's using more energy than usual. Uh, so this is pretty nice. Uh, this will be the real test, the lava crystal blocks, how fast do they go? Wow, that is a lot faster than just the um, speed one upgrade. So that's very nice. I'm glad that I uh, took the time to go out and get snow to make that. And I know this mustn't be the best quality video at the moment, but this is just, this is how I've been getting my resources now. It's amazing. It's no speed mining, but, um, ah, and there, I'm out of energy already. Um, but look how much stuff we got from just that. Um, good amount of ore, mainly a lot of cobblestone, which isn't great. So we're going to have to find a way of dealing with the cobblestone. Just had a cheeky lag spike there. Um, and I will come back and light this up later. But that is um, how good the drill is. And now the next thing we want to do, probably, um, if they're all called augment, yeah. So I probably want to get the silk touch. So that takes the emeraldic, er, emeraldic crystal. And uh, we need, that's pretty cheap, we've got all those things. And uh, maybe get some fortune, oh, drill fortune two. So that just takes empowered Restonia. Uh, we can't do that because, oh, well, no, we can get another brick. That's that's also really easy. So we may as well get that, but this ender casing in four. Ah, uh, that's easy too. Okay, we can definitely get that. Um, the only thing is we've got limited space in here, so if we were going to do that we'd have to make a second drill probably for fortune, and then maybe an extra one for silk touch, or maybe we do silk touch on this one, I'm not sure. We'll, we'll work out some way of doing it, and getting the 5x5s um, five five, so doing 25 at a time, that's, these, these are Empowered Inori crystals, right, so... That's also not that expensive. All these things are pretty reasonable, and it's like a permanent enchantment. It's just the fact that it runs out of charge so much. Um, but r really, you only need to do that every once in a while. And then I can just come and cherry pick the ores from the wall. So I'm going to go ahead and probably make a few more of those. And there's another thing from actual actually additions that I want to um, make this episode if we can afford it is the greenhouse glass now this takes an empowered palace crystal block which is going to be the most expensive thing here um, because we need prismarine but this should be pretty readily available um, from the ocean because we have uh, ambient spawning guardians there so they drop prismarine shards and so for one so for three bits of prismarine, we get three greenhouse glass. So for every, I don't know if a guardian drops one prismarine shard, but we'll probably get maybe one bit of greenhouse glass per guardian. So it will take a while to get that much because each farm is 81, um, 81 squares. Uh, so that could, could take us a while, but if we get a fortune sword, I'm sure we will be able to collect it more easily. Um, so I'm going to go off and do some of those things, and I will join you when I have some more progress. As luck would have it, I was a complete spoon in the previous clip, making the individual bits um, of empowered diamatine, was it? No, it was uh, Inori. Um, but you can actually make a block of the stuff, and it takes up a lot more energy, but you only use um, one of each of the resources. So where I used three times, like the snow, the button, the cobblestone, and the grey dye, which aren't exactly the most expensive, but it was annoying to have to place them three times to make only three bits. Uh, here you can make the equivalent of nine bits just with a, a whole ton of energy, and I have now powered this up, and this is still a temporary setup, but uh, it'll do now while I have nothing on this floor and almost fell off the edge there. Uh, so it does take a bit longer, but it's a lot more convenient just to do the whole block at once. And uh, so what we got here is we've made the drill fortune augment number one, and uh, we want to get number two, so um, let's just search that up again. And we only need a couple more things. I've been doing a lot of chasing down resources, so we've got the glowstone now. We need four more diamatines and a block of quartz. So maybe we can do this on camera, um, because I've done a lot off camera today, so maybe we do something together now. 
Uh, so I've gone ahead and I've gotten the glowstone, so we need f the equivalent of four blocks. We need four uh, ender pearls, so we've got those two. Then we're going to need four diamonds, and this is in my brand new storage system down here. So as I said, we've got the drawer controller and the compacting drawers, so all we got to do is take out four diamonds here. Um, maybe we take out nine. Uh, that feels expensive, uh, but we can get a lot of diamonds if we go into the nether. Um, so what we're going to have to do is make the empowered diamantine crystal. So we need two clay, a clay block and a light blue dye. So let's go ahead and grab that. Um, I'm just doing this to show you how convenient or not convenient, if you have any suggestions on how you can improve it, um, but how convenient my storage system is. And uh, I hate spending a lot of time in videos in chess, which is why I'm trying to rush through here, but that might end up taking more time. And oh my goodness, where's my lapis? Yeah, so we like jump around floors a lot, uh, trying to get stuff. Uh, so I'm going to just put the um, diamantine on to uh, craft there. And actually, we need to go through another phase before we can get that, where we put that in there, and then we turn it on, and then we wait for it to come into here. There we go, we got the diamantine crystal. Now let's jump up two floors, place uh, this down, then we've got the clay, one bit of light blue dye, and then the two bits of clay, and that'll start to go. Now what else do we need while that's going? So we need to get our glowstone, that's fine. Uh, that's not exactly what I wanted to do. Uh, how do we make the glowstone block? There. I wonder why that went into, into dust. And then uh, we've got the empowered restonia. Uh, the other thing that we need is the black quartz block, so conveniently we can take that out of here. I think it's just the four, like, regular quartz. Uh, don't know why that doesn't work in the compacting drawer, because regular quartz does. Uh, must just be because it's a modded thing. Uh, not everything is compatible, even if you want it to be. Okay, so we should have everything we need now for this. Uh, so let's get these uh, diamantine crystals, yeah, and the restonia crystals. All good, um, we need to make one of these, which we've got, and we're good. So that didn't actually take too long. Um, that would be kind of a mid-tier thing to craft, I reckon. So this is now a Fortune 3, I think it's the equivalent of Efficiency 5 with the Drill Speed Augment 3 as well. Um, so it's a really, really fast drill. Um, the other thing that we want, maybe we get the Silk Touch, uh, it does require four more Diamantine Crystals, and we are running quite low on Diamonds, I'm pretty sure. Um, and we also need to gather things like Grass and the Lime Dye, which we don't have immediately, uh, so maybe I do that off camera and save it for next time. And the other thing is this, which we don't really need, um, but this uh, Fortune 3 is going to be a real asset to have. And then I'm planning just a cart around that in my extra inventory. Oh goodness, I grabbed my helmet there. And uh, I can swap between them when I want to go between um, drilling massive holes <laughs> and uh, getting a lot of maybe diamond ore, coal ore, and uh, redstone ore. So... Um, there is also the trade-off between could we do speed 2 with the 3, um, but it's not always going to be the most efficient uh, way of mining things to use Fortune Augment 2, um, but we can work that out as we go along. I've spent a long time on this episode now, I've done a heck of a lot of things, and I have recorded it twice, and so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up here. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you have any suggestions for me, please do leave them in the comments below, and uh, Thanks very much for watching, have a great day, uh, bye.